Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to remotely access your Ubuntu 20.04 machine using Windows 10 remotely. So in order to do so, you have to install some of the required packages in your Ubuntu machine and then you have to use your Windows 10 to access that Ubuntu machine remotely. In my case, I'm already away from my Ubuntu machine, so I have to uh, access it remotely using SSH command to install the required packages. But if you are in front of your machine right now, so go there and install the required packages that I will show you in this next section. All the commands required to install the necessary packages uh, will be given in the description, so you don't have to worry about typing them here. If you are using a Wi-Fi connection or uh, you are accessing it remotely, you may be needing to install the VPN and activate the VPN server in your Windows 10. And in my case, I have to use the VPN. So I have already enabled it. Anyway, in my case, I am accessing the Ubuntu server remotely using SSH command. So I have to use that command prompt in my Windows 10 machine and then you have to type SSH and then the username at the rate the host IP address or the host name of the Ubuntu server. Anyway, you will be needing the host name or the IP address of the Ubuntu machine later on to access it remotely. So type, I'm typing kpol9, which is my username, at the rate, and then the next part is basically the host name, and then press enter. It will ask you password of the machine. So type your password here. Although the password is invisible right here, but it is accepting the password. After putting the password, Please press enter and you'll be entering in your Ubuntu server remotely. Once you are in that Ubuntu server, either physically or remotely using SSH connection, you have to install the remote desktop protocol RDP server XRDP on this machine. To do so, type this command sudo apt install xrdp and then press enter then it will ask for password then put your password and press enter in my case it is already installed that's why it says zero upgraded or zero newly installed but uh, if it is not installed in your uh, ubuntu server then you will get some different messages it will be installed now after this you have to enable this xrdp server to do so, type this command sudo systemctl enable space hyphen hyphen now xrdp and then press enter. Uh, I will put all the commands in the description so you don't have to worry about typing. So once you type the command in the command prompt, then press enter and then it will show this message executing this command so now it is enabled i mean the xrdp server is enabled in this machine now what you have to do you have to open a firewall port 3389 for any incoming traffic to do so type this command sudo ufw allow from any to any port 3389 PROTO transfer control protocol and then press enter. Now it's a rule you have to set it up right. So in my case, it is already this rule is already added. I mean, this firewall port is already enabled for incoming traffic, that's why it is keeping uh, existing rule. But if it is not installed, then I mean. If it is not enabled in your machine, you will get a different message. So don't worry about it. 
now you already have installed all the required packages in your remote ubuntu server let's go to the windows 10 machine and access the ubuntu server remotely now go to your windows 10 machine and type remote remote desktop connection so this one right here select that and then you'll see a similar screen like this like this one so it will ask you to put the computer name you see so you have to type in the ip address of the ubuntu server or the host name in my case this is the host name so you press the show options you can click the checkbox always ask for credentials or you can discard it to save the username and password information so in my case i want it to type in every time so i don't press it so then save and then connect once you press the connect so it will direct you to the ubuntu server like this but for the first time if you want to access it it will ask you to click yes and it will show a message something the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified so click the checkbox and then press yes once you do that it will ask your username password and then put the password here and then press enter now you will be able to see the ubuntu server in your windows 10 machine just maximize it and then activities from the activities you can see the show applications here so you can access any application now and i guess i'm opening just to check whether it's working and i'd like to open my youtube page that's it um thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel and if you like this video please press the thumbs up thank you so much